welcome to Puzzle Master. Today I'm going to be showing you the solution for the Hanayama Padlock Puzzle. Which means I'm going to be showing you the two moves that you need to repeat twice each to separate those four pieces. And then once we've done that I'll show you how you can reverse those moves in a slightly different way to put it all back together in its original padlock position. Now the padlock is a level 5 out of 6 on the Hanayama difficulty scale and it is a level 9 out of 10 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. And if you haven't already got the padlock puzzle for yourself then you can pick it up from our website puzzlemaster.ca and without further ado let's crack on with that solution. Okay, so here we have a fully assembled padlock puzzle. Now the fully assembled position should have, as we look at the side that has the engravings padlock and the keyhole, rather than the just the Hanayama engraving. So as we look at it, although it'll be the same on both sides, the front silver piece should have a gap in the left hand side of its piece, and the back silver piece should have a gap on its right hand side as we look at it as it should be lined up in that original position. Now the actual solving of this involves essentially maneuvering these two pieces around so that these two pieces end up in the right position so that we can separate all four pieces. And we do that by four different moves or four moves that are actually two moves twice but in slightly different positions. And what we're gonna do to actually solve it, to make it easier for, to solve it, is we're gonna flip the two middle pieces so that we have a vertical line or the, the line that splits them is vertical. It just makes it easier for us to move these two pieces up and down because that is a lot of the key to solving this, where these two pieces are relative to these two pieces. So the first move, we're gonna take that vertical line and we're gonna take the first, the front silver piece and we're gonna line up that gap there with that vertical line. With the back silver piece, we're gonna make it so that it's exactly opposite that piece, okay? So in this position here. Then, we're gonna tilt the puzzle sideways just so you can see this a little bit easier. And this is where we're gonna play around with the heights. So the padlock engraving is always gonna be on the right hand side. So if I say right hand side or padlock piece, it, it's the same thing. And the same thing with the keyhole piece and the left hand side piece, I'm just gonna interchange or probably interchangeably refer to those pieces as those. So what we're going to do is the padlock piece is going to come towards us, the keyhole piece is going to go away from us, and when we're holding it tight in this position, we can come back to here and we can slide those two pieces apart into this position. Next, we're going to tilt or come back to this position to see this more clearly. Now we're going to swap heights or swap sides with these two pieces. So the piece on the right, the padlock engraving, is going to come from the bottom to the top, and the piece on the left, the keyhole engraving, is going to come from the bottom, uh, from the top to the bottom. Uh, no, from the bottom to the top. So we end up in this position here. We're then going to put slide those pieces back together, and you'll notice that the two gaps on the silver pieces have moved. They were on the outside and they're now on the inside. The next move, the front silver piece is gonna stay still. We're gonna move the back silver piece around to this position here. And again, it's a little bit easier to see in from a side on view. So we're gonna go back to here and you'll notice that all the gaps sort of line up in, on this straight line in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to push the padlock piece on the right up or away from us and we're going to pull the key ring piece towards us and we can then come back to this position to then slide these pieces out to here. So we ended up here and we then need to swap around the heights again. So the padlock piece is going to come down, the keyhole piece is going to slide up and I'm going to slide these pieces back together. And again, we end up in a different orientation. Now we've got one gap on the outside and one on the inside. The next move, we're going to repeat that first move that we did. So we're going to line up that vertical line with the gap in that front silver piece. And we're going to get the back silver piece that it is completely or it is opposite that piece. Again, we're going to come back to the side so that we can play around with the heights. The padlock is going to come towards us. The keyhole is going to go away from us. And then we're going to slide those two pieces apart again into this position. 
Once again, we're going to play around with the heights. So the piece on the right is going to move away from us. The piece on the left is going to move towards us. And we can then slide those pieces back together in here. And the final move requires this position for the front silver piece. So the, the gap or the line, yeah, the line in the gap should be vertical in that position. And the back piece, we're going to turn it so that its gap ends up in this in line with the back of the puzzle okay so in that position with the back piece this position with the front piece and from there the padlock side is going to go away from us the keyhole side is going to come towards us and we can then just slide two pieces or four pieces into two pieces or one piece to two piece and then two pieces into four separate solved padlock position puzzle. When you've got the padlock apart, you'll, you'll notice some slight differences between pieces. These two pieces are identical. They don't change apart from their engravings. Uh, but these two pieces do. You'll notice that these two knobbly bits are the, in the middle of these pieces. You've got two knobbly bits on this piece, but just one knobbly bit on this piece. Now for, for putting these back together, how we order these pieces together is extremely important. What we're going to do is we're going to take the piece with one knobbly bit in the middle. We're going to flip it upside down so we can see the inside of it. And this one is going to go with the keyhole piece. And we're going to line it up in this position here. So as you see it, the keyhole is in that position and the gap facing down. But the other two pieces, obviously this one is going to go upright. We're going to connect it in here with the gap pretty much opposite. So we're going to end up here. So that is the orientation for putting them together. The hard part is actually putting them together. So these can move around, but we have to clamp down this piece and this piece together. We have to clamp these two pieces together and from there when we've got it in position this is tough to do we can then line up all those four pieces and slide them together into here then we don't have to worry about the height so we can come back to this normal position and we've done the first of four moves already just putting it back together is the first move then what we are going to do is we're going to go to that opposite puzzle move position. So we should have the vertical line lined up with the front gap in there. And the, the back piece is just exactly 180 degrees opposite the front silver piece. The padlock piece is going to go away from us. The keyhole piece is going to come towards us. And we can then slide when we're in the right position. We can then slide those pieces out into this position here. Once again, we have to swap the heights. So the left hand side goes up or away from us. Right hand side comes towards us. And we then put those back together in there. Next, the alignment for this is going to be different to what it was when we took it apart. We're going to line up both gaps in the same place. So we want to be in this position here. We're going to have the padlock piece coming towards us. We're going to have the keyhole piece going away from us. And we're going to slide the padlock up, slide the keyhole down so that we end up here. Once again, we're going to swap bottom to top. So the piece on the right goes to away from us. The piece on the left comes towards us. And we then slide those two pieces back together. And the final move that we need to do is one of those opposite moves again. So we're gonna line it up so that the front silver piece gap is in line with this vertical line of the two middle pieces. We're gonna line up the back silver piece that it is exactly opposite the other silver, the front silver piece. The padlock is gonna go away from us. The keyhole piece is gonna to come towards us. We're gonna separate and we've got it lined up correctly. There we go. Once we've got it lined up, we can then separate those two pieces from here. And the final thing we need to do is pull the padlock side towards us, push the key lock, P, uh, yeah, the keyhole piece away from us, slide them back together, and then we should have 
the front gap on the left hand side, the back gap on the right hand side, both on the outside of the puzzle, and that is how we fully reassemble the padlock puzzle. So there it is, that is how you disassemble and then reassemble the padlock puzzle. It is a very tough one and the changes that those two moves make are very, very slight. And first time I was solving this one, I didn't notice what was happening when you were sort of changing sides and then coming back to what you thought was the original position. So being aware of, of where those two middle silver pieces are or where the gaps are on those silver pieces in relation to the two middle bits is important in tracking where you are on either disassembling it or reassembling it. Now hopefully this has helped you solve the padlock puzzle for yourself. If you want to pick up more puzzles just like the padlock puzzle, then check out our website puzzlemaster.ca where we have the biggest variety of puzzles on the internet in the world. And until next time, I will see you later.